I took a dog last time uh, we have set up a very basic very basic uh, chat GPT C sharp solution where we implemented uh, the you know completions uh, option from from that library beta lgo dot GPT 3 so in this episode as this is the second part of this chat GPT application uh, we will see a couple of more options uh, from this create completion uh, method uh, first of all let's rerun this application to see the working of this uh, application and then we can see the other options that we have in this application so we can see we are getting a programming language the type of language that is used to create a set of instruction that can be executed by a computer so that object the completion create object have one more very important option which is temperature uh, the minimum value of temperature is zero the maximum value is point Nine. zero means written more relevant more accurate and to the point uh, description uh, point nine means you, we can get you know maximum uh, variety and more general uh, out from that uh, uh, completion request so first of all let's try with the zero F let me save and rerun this let's see what uh, result we get from this so a programming language is a formal language that specifies a set of instruction that can be used to produce various kinds of output so now we can see the you know uh, result is pretty much different uh, what if we provide point 0.9 as a temperature let's see what we get now so uh, we can now see it's kind of more generic uh, response of programming language is a formal language in a set of instruction that can be used to produce various kinds of output but this is how we can you know uh, we can get variety of outputs from this completion request uh, so there is another option which can be expensive because we will be <coughs> <coughs> so there is another option which is pretty much uh, expensive as compared to temperature one because in that case we will be getting more uh, you know variants as a you know in a single output we can see multiple results for a same query so that parameter is called n right so by default value is one let's say if we put like three then we will be having three results for a same query with variety of you know different uh, variations let me rerun this application and now we should see a couple of you know different outputs right so the same query is there but we have a variety of outputs variety of results right but as as i mentioned earlier n could be expensive is a value is greater than one because <coughs> <coughs> In the background there will be uh, you know three requests uh, you know getting results from chat GPT so that was all about the completion request uh, one interesting thing which is the main thing of this uh, episode we can say the image option right we can query and we can get image on the fly interesting so let's see how we can implement this 
to implement that I will comment out that um, completions request implementation and I will um, to save the time I will copy the completion request object and I will uh, rename it image request and uh, I will say image dot um, image create image and uh, the request will be new image um, create request and uh, that request don't take model or tokens it will just take the um, parameter and uh, the the value of n let's say we pass to so we will be getting two urls um, from this call so next i would like to copy the response options um, so that will be image request dot success we need to check this one and uh, image request dot um, I will uh, check the results and that will returning as the uh, image create response dot image data results uh, and in the choices uh, I should be getting the URLs I will be I and I can have a page 64 as well uh, but I would certainly prefer the URL because we can then copy paste that URL to see the you know actual result in the browser okay uh, why not let's change this query a little bit um, let's let's say uh, Pakistan flag with um, blue background uh, a, a random a random query let's see what responses we get from this query so this is the image completion request we will be curing the images and these images will be created on the fly um, and uh, as we have passed um, n value of n is 2 so we will we are getting the two urls this is the first one let's see uh, what uh, image is been prepared for us so this is the first image we got from chat gpt uh, let's copy paste the other one the first one so basically this is a uh, open api's own uh, blob service from where we are getting those images which is which is good right so right so now we can see that we got two pakistan flags with blue background so whatever you can type you can get your required images um, in results and the value of n will decide how many uh, different variety of objects we can get against a single query so this is this was the second step of, of integrating uh, integrating chat gpt in the console application uh, we will try to uh, produce and try to you know uh, come with the different idea in coming episodes we will try to implement the chat GPT in the web not web windows form application where we can visually see the results in a uh, single application on just on the clicks on the UI so that was all from uh, this uh, video uh, I hope you enjoyed that uh, the main purpose of this is uh, just just to see what are the different options of integration 
we have with chat GPT in C sharp uh, although we haven't implemented the raw post request but we have consumed that uh, chat GPT library right so uh, let's see what what uh, even you guys can give your suggestions uh, what should we do with chat GPT uh, while implementing C sharp code uh, so for the uh, till next video stay tuned uh, till then bye bye